Hey everyone, welcome back to my weekend updates. So, this last month I've been moving, as I said in my last video, um, but I'm finally just about done with that so I can get back to making videos. Um, I know I said that I wanted to make my next video the AMA video, and I've recorded a script for that as well as uh, recorded a couple clips for visualizations of what I'm uh, working on, but I need to tie it all together with some really good visualizations. and um, that takes time. I need to make, I need to write the code for these visualizations so that you can see it in engine. Um, otherwise I'd just have to draw it in MS paint and that wouldn't look very good. So, um, anyways, let's get to the subject of this video. So as you can see on the screen right now, there are a couple Suzannes, uh, in the water, but, um, this isn't very interesting. And, um, I actually had a little bit of inspiration these last couple days and, made a brand new rendering technique. So let's take a look. So what we have now are ray traced reflections and refractions. So now the water is transparent and we can see there are a bunch of Suzannes under the water. Um, as I fly around, you can see it looks really good. Um, I can even go underwater now and is obviously dark and it's also a little bit blurry. And I think that is a really nice touch. So we can, uh, Go ahead and we can even place as many things as we want in them and we can see that they have reflections and that we can see them through the water but yeah it's it's surprisingly performant but obviously you can see that there is some noise so one of the next things i want to be working on is reducing the amount of noise with some denoising algorithms but as a sneak peek for what it would look like when it is denoised i can uh, make it so that the renderer averages more frames over time so um, before it was averaging five frames together, which added a little bit of motion blur, but here we can see it gets nice and smooth, but the problem is, is that there's a ton of motion blur, so it's not really viable for in-game play. And to do this, there were a couple things that needed to happen. Firstly, I need to keep track of the position of the ray and return that back, because now the ray doesn't necessarily go in a straight line. If I were to uh, go down here, we can see that it looks like it's really stretching the blocks, and that's because it's refracting. So I need to keep track of the position and return that to the color within the ray trace function because now I can't just uh, calculate it after the fact using the ray origin, direction, and depth that it traveled because that depth no longer represents the depth that the ray traveled along its original direction, but a uh, convoluted or potentially convoluted path. But the other thing was I needed to update the acceleration structure to be able to handle multiple different types of materials. So if I take a look at the subgrid visualization, which is one of the visualizations I created that specifically for this video and for bug testing as well, you can see that now the hierarchical grid is no longer split on whether something is a solid material and air, but between every single type of block. So we can see that the water has its own hierarchical grid structure. It's really detailed over here because there's a bunch of cobblestone, gravel, stone, and dirt together. But as you go down, there's more stone and then more open space down here where there's some lava. But yeah, so now what the next steps would be with regards to this would be creating a sparse voxel oak tree using this data. And that wouldn't be too tricky. I just need to update the compute shader that creates this data to also compress the voxel data. So those are the next steps. So basically that's what I've been working on recently, but I actually created a discord that you guys can join. Um, there's a link down below where uh, I, I've been talking to members of the community about different things that I have to show off. So some visualizations, some bugs that I have, or um, just cool screenshots of things I've been working on, as well as there are spaces for you guys to give me suggestions on what you think I should work on or just general chat. So whenever I'm working on the project, if I can spare the time, um, which will be very often, I'm going to hop into this voice channel and anyone can join and we can just chat about different cool games that we've seen or basically anything. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.